Ben with Car Keys New York. We are inside of a 2021 Hyundai Sonata. This is a bladed model and it is an Emo equipped vehicle. You could see the LED, the light for the Emo turn on. That only turns on with a working key. If there is a key that is not programmed and you turn the ignition on, you will not get an Emo light. So it's kind of a reverse uh, to what you normally would be used to. Um, we are going to obtain the pin code from a working key using the new smart aerial and The 2021 to 2023 Sonata menu index. We're gonna go under pin reading Connect This requires internet and snoop captures from the car. I'll show you how that's done. So we'll go under pin functions Yes Connect to the internet put the working key in the reading area so we would take the smart aerial and put the key in there press ok ok so it detected the type of key that it is now it wants us to keep it in the smart aerial it'll detect the transponder ID and now here we go two snoop captures are required for this procedure a successful snoop capture is indicated by smart aerial LEDs um, while the ignition is turned on so I'll show you how that looks when we do this so we could take the key out for now. We'll put it over here. We'll hit OK. And then one fast LED, red LED flash followed by a slow green LED to find a successful capture. We're actually going to need the key inside of the ignition. And we will hit OK. Now, holding the snoop up against the, the antenna for the, um, for the uh, immobilizer, we're going to turn the key on. And turn it off. Let's take it out. Let's put it back in. Not close enough. Okay, there we go. That was one capture. Here comes another one. And that's another capture. And just to be safe, we'll do a third capture. Okay. Now we will hit OK. Snoop capture successful. It's going to want the key back in the aerial. Go like that. Authenticating the capture. And there's the pin code for the car. So 793494. Okay, now let's see about programming it. Immobilizer. Let's see if I can remember this pin code here. Let's turn the ignition on. Program keys. Seven nine three four nine four. Did I get it right? There we go. Wow. One key programmed. Okay, do we want to program another key? Yes. So let's get it off. off. Let's get the new key. Okay. Insert the next key. We'll hit OK. Um, no indication on the dash of anything, but it says that we have two keys programmed. Do you want to program another key? No. Switch the ignition off. Wait 10 seconds, then switch the ignition on. Success, two keys programmed. Okay, let's see. And then, there we go. We got the immobilizer light. Car runs, beautiful. Now we have to do the third part of this programming is programming the remote. It is a standalone remote, so you would need to program the remote. There we go, that was one remote. We need to program another one. There, we got a second one. Nope. Two registered remotes. That's one key. That's two keys. And there you have it. Smart Aerial Plus for the pin read. Smart Pro for the programming. Great job, AD.